Well, the interesting one here. Um, this uh, sister makes ice in an ice builder, and it's it's not been making any ice. Um, when they turn it on, it runs for a minute or so, and then trips out. Um, and you think that'd be a classic symptom of a gas leak or something like that. We've got a manual reset low pressure switch, so that's unlikely. Anyway, we fired it up. Thing fires up. The second fan's off a. Um, another pressure switch. You can hear the contact click in, but the fan doesn't run. Um, And then it'll, it'll just repeat doing that. The motor will cool down, the thermistor will reset, and it will come back on again. Um, luckily, we've got a faulty system next to it, so we're going to probably rob the fan off on this one for now. Um, get them going again. But there you have the control circuit for the compressor's contact to run through um, these two purple wires from one fan mode and there'll be two two more from this one. Um, and that, that one if the mode gets too hot for whatever reason it's seized up. This is the case here. Bad bearing. Um, all the uh, it loses the phase, it'll trip out. It needs to go open circuit and turn everything off. Right, that's the uh, the good Good fan off the uh, redundant unit. Um, that's the one with the bad bearing. Quite often, what you get when the bearings go is once you've got the magnetic field in there, it sort of pulls the um, rotor across to one side and makes it drag. So quite often you can spin them, but not very well by hand, but as soon as you power them up they seize up solid. <coughs> anyway, we'll get this one put on and see how it goes. Right, I've took the terminal strip off the back of the box, it's easier to get the uh, wires in place. Um, with these terminal strips they have like a little metal um, piece inside that, that bends down. Uh, it sort of goes between the screw and the wire so that you don't, when you wind the screw in, it doesn't twist the wire. A bit like some thin rail things. Um, when they've been used, it bends down and then you can't get the wire in. So I've, I've got this tool here, which is actually um, meant for um, doing radiator hoses on cars and such. But it's quite handy to be able to put the little spike in there and bend the tabs back up. Which is what I also use it for. Dentists need cleaning. 